will change our lives forever. Building our nations and our homes, restoring sights to the blind, bringing hope to the hopeless. It goes beyond language barrier, cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It traps so deep, our reality is giving our lives a meaning. Rap so deep, our reality is giving our day a lift. Directing our path, enlightening our world, rhapsody of reality. Oh, oh. It has come to change our lives forever. 2011 has been a special year as we've brought you God's Word as contained in our messenger angel from different parts of the world. This December, it gets even more special as we present you choice articles in the December edition of your favorite devotional from India, South Africa, the earth shall be covered with the knowledge of God's word. Hawaii. That they are ministry angels. They are ministering for, for us. The Netherlands. An anointing is released when you mention that name of Jesus. Spain. The essence of God's word is law. The United Kingdom. When I say be healed in the name of Jesus, Amen. that healing has to take place. And more. It's captivating. <laughs> Inspiring. Taking off the roof. Yes. That is faith. And a special season's treat you can't afford to miss. Stay tuned. Today's Nuggets from Rhapsody of Realities. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities. I am Mona Lisa. And I'm Deborah. And this is a special edition of a Rhapsody of Realities in the month of December. You know, this year has been such a fulfilling year for us. And according to the Word of God given to us by our man of God, we have burned and shined. Hallelujah. How about you? I'm sure, Deborah, mm -hmm. they too have been burning and shining. And you have so many testimonies, That's right. particularly if you have been a consistent reader of your copy of the Rhapsody of Realities each month and each and every day from That's January right. till now, Hallelujah. December. And so because testimonies are bound, we would love you to share with us your testimonies. Absolutely. We would be more than glad to hear from you. Absolutely. So go ahead. Send us an email and let us rejoice and celebrate with you what God has done for you this year. Absolutely. Now later on in the program today, we are going to go into today's message as we get ready in this period of oh, Christmas yeah. to celebrate our Lord Jesus Christ and to celebrate you because you are the reason for the season. That's right. I just love the season and it's just a season of celebration. We're looking back at what God has done for us during the year. Plus, it's a season that we are celebrating what Christ has done for us. And you know, this is the most glorious message that oh, there yes. is in the world. Oh, and yes. today, Pastor is sharing with us on the ultimate price. Now, if you don't know yet, you will find out today that there's only one person who paid the ultimate price for you, and that is Jesus Christ. You know, the sin of man brought him into death, but through Jesus Christ, Man has been brought into a place with God where he can have life in abundance, a place of victory. This is the ultimate price that Christ has paid for us. And that is why we want you to stick around during this devotional because you are going to receive so much through the word of God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. and, and you know, as you receive the word for today, knowledge will come to you. And when knowledge come to, comes to you, you'll be set free. You'll Absolutely. be liberal. You'll live life with liberty. That's it. And, and, and you have 
we have the understanding of what Pastor is talking about today. Amen. He takes today's opening scripture from the book of Isaiah, the 53rd chapter from verse 5. And the opening scripture reads that, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his tribes, we were healed. Hallelujah. Glorious Hallelujah. words from the word of God. And there's so much more as Pastor expounds on today's message. Stay tuned with us as you join us after the break for more. Don't go away. It goes beyond language barrier. Because it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel. It's the rest of the world. It's wrapped so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. What if what I desire, I already have? And my dreams are not as impossible. What if what I want is not what I need? And there is more in me that I'm yet to discover. Can I trust God enough? To lead me, to guide me, to show me who I really am. Get Rhapsody of Realities and get all the answers you need. Start placing your orders now. Call the numbers showing on your screen or visit our website, www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. Rhapsody of Realities, giving your day a lift. Welcome back to Rhapsody of Realities. As we said before the break, this is a Rhapsody of Reality special edition. And Mona Lisa and myself, we are from South Africa. All the way from South Africa. That's right. <laughs> and you will see throughout this month all your favorite presenters from countries around the world that you've been listening to during the year sharing from the Rhapsody of Realities. So this is a month you don't want to miss. It is power packed with different people bringing to you this powerful message that we have in the Rhapsody. For December. Praise the Lord. How exciting. You know, earlier on, before the break, we shared with you the opening scripture for today. Well, if you've just joined us, you two are in time for today's message. And we'll go straight into the message as Pastor reads with us. We'll take the opening scripture again. He, he takes the opening scripture from Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, verse 5, and it reads, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes, we are healed. Oh, Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pastor Chris explains and says, In Genesis, the third chapter, when the serpent beguiled Eve and man disobeyed God's instruction, the inevitable consequence was death. Genesis chapter 2 verse 17 reads, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Okay. The death spoken of here isn't only referring to the cessation of the natural human life, but also to spiritual death. Wow. Pastor continues and he says spiritual death is worse than physical death because it is total severance or separation from God. And you know, when, when you look throughout the scripture, that's where you discover that it's that spiritual death that the whole of mankind is walking in until they come to Christ. That's what the Bible shows us, that every single person, because of that one sin that is described, that pastor has described here, because of that one sin of Adam, every single man that was born into the world after that sin was born into the spiritual death. So spiritual death is not, like he said, a, um, initially a physical death. It is a separation from God, which ultimately will result in physical death because man was not even meant to die, to die. bodily, but mm -hmm. that death came upon him and even entered into his body when man sinned. And so it's this death, this element of death that is that is the issue, that is that has brought the problem into the human race. And that is why today pastor is sharing with us on the ultimate price that Jesus paid to bring man out of this state of death. And as we continue, you will get a revelation as to what Christ has really done. And when you discover it, 
it is glorious because you come to discover the kind of life that God has caused you to live. You know, we just need to look at the opening scripture, which is Isaiah 53 verse 5, which is just a classic, classic scripture that all of us know. But if we will meditate on that scripture, we will come to understand that a price has been paid. The Bible says he was wounded for our transgressions. It says he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. So he paid the price so that we don't have to live in turmoil, in destruction, but that we will have peace. And with his stripes, we are healed. That means you don't need to live with sickness. So the question is, is if he has paid, why are we still paying? Christ has paid the price. He has paid the price for this spiritual death. And as we begin to walk in that revelation, we will live a glorious and a victorious life. Hallelujah. He says, this became man's state after the fall of Adam. Death, the ultimate penalty for sin, got the upper hand and reigned in the lives of men. And it is still reigning in the lives of men. Hence the reason we preach the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hence the reason even for this program, because we need to share with people what Christ has done. And because he died, you died in him. And because of that, you can live a resurrection life. You can have the life that Christ has now. This is the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And Pastor quotes the scripture from Romans 5 verse 12. Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, and so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Wow. And you know, the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. You know, there was a wage to pay. When sin came upon man, the wage was death. But then the Bible says that the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. The gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. That is the gift of God. The question is, have you received it? Have you accepted it? Maybe even you've received Jesus Christ as your Lord, but maybe you've got sickness in your body or maybe there are problems in your life. All you need to do is by revelation and by faith receive the fact that Christ has paid for that issue and begin to walk in the victory that the Word of God speaks about. And you will see those things will begin to fall off your life because they have no more power. Jesus has paid the price for them. This is the message. This is the glory and the life to which God has called us. As we continue reading, you realize yes. that it was out of God's love. That's it. It was out of God's love that, you know, the Bible says that, but God who is rich in mercy, mm. for his great love, wherewith he loved us. Oh, praise so God. so rich in mercy Amen. that he loved it so much Amen. that he had to give us Amen. an ultimate price. Amen. I love that, Mona Lisa. This is about God's oh, love. Yes. Oh, yes. This is about God's love. And as soon as you start to believe that it's a gift, you don't have to earn it. You can walk in the freedom of it. Oh, yes. The devil's biggest lie is to tell you that you need to earn it in some way. That maybe you haven't been holy enough. Maybe you haven't been good enough. It's not about that. Christ has paid the price. You just need to receive it. It's not, not about what you feel. You might not feel blessed. You might not feel righteous. Your feelings don't count. The truth is in the word of God. Base your life on the word. It is the rock. It is the foundation. And really, this is the understanding this message is the foundation for your Christian life. Absolutely. This is the ultimate message because... The biggest love letter to the world was Christ dying on the cross for you. It gave a demonstration of the kind of love that God loves you with. There's no, 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 no limit to the love that God has for humankind. Praise the Lord. So pastor says, but God's love for man made him move swiftly to man's rescue. He immediately initiated the sacrifice of bulls and goats as atonement for sin. This was the order with the children of Israel, because the Bible says, like he quotes now in Hebrews 9 verse 22, for without the shedding of blood, there couldn't be remission for sin. Giving us an idea as to why Christ had to come, because he to without, he had to shed blood. That's correct. And, and you can imagine if Christ didn't die, the number of bulls and goats mm. would have had to sacrifice oh, till this day and age. Day. But you know, his sacrifice was perfect. Amen. It was, it was perfect and excellent and, and complete. Amen. And, and we have been made complete with that That's sacrifice. Right. That's right. And one outstanding thing that Pastor Chris says that I always remind myself each and every day that even if I was the only one, God would have still paid the ultimate price. That's right. So it, it's not a matter of who's around you, who, who thinks you're perfect, who, what you have done. Who, even if you were the only one That's on right. earth, 
God would have still sent his only begotten son to die for you, to pay that ultimate price for you. And that is something that ought to provoke you, Praise to God. bring your heart to Jesus Praise Christ God. if you're not saved. And treasure the fact that an ultimate price was paid for you. Praise the God. message continues as you join us after the break. Don't go away. It goes beyond language barrier. Cause it's a God carrier. It's our messenger angel to the rest of the world. It's wraps so deep. Our reality is giving our lives a meaning. I was in the beginning. I've seen the end. I created everything and nothing was created without me. I know you, for I created you. I have great plans for you. I know the questions in your heart and the answers you seek. I'm God's Word. Get Rhapsody Realities and get more acquainted with God's Word. Call the following numbers or visit our website www.rhapsodyofrealities.org. <laughs> 